That was a good joke. I think I got a kick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what that means. It's time to get up. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, uh, the dude, if you remember the dude that was working for the dying father of Fisher, his name was Peter Browning. Yes. Peter means the top. Peter is also Peter the Apostle. Uh, isn't there a Peter, St. Peter or something? Yeah, St. Peter. So there's Paul and, and all of them. All those apostles, they'll say like, um, and also you could say like a, a, a Elijah too. Like they said Elijah Muhammad, but the Elijah in the Bible, they always warn you of, of, a, of a Christ that's coming type thing. Uh, I think it was Paul the Apostle that warned people of Jesus who's coming. Right, yes. So... He's the godfather of, of, of Fisher. So he basically was preparing a way for Fisher to become the new Christ. So he was playing that role, or you could say he was playing Joseph. His father, who, who he didn't really, Fisher didn't really know, was playing God. Fisher playing Jesus. So he's on earth now. This other dude is acting like a real father, Peter Browning, played by Tom Barringer. And that's basically Joseph, if you will. You know what I mean? Right. So, uh, Saito, which is a Chinese dude, um, he tells, going back, um, he tells, he wants, told, he, he tells Cobb, that's why he asked Cobb to do this job, to bring fish. He said his biggest competition that he spoke about was, was, uh, the father and his son, so Osiris and Horus. He says, these niggas are the only thing that stands in his way of total power. Mm. What we're talking about? Kundalini power. Yes. He says, um, 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 remember, there's two snakes. These, these are just these two snakes fighting and, and coming together. They're the same persons, same people. Now, um... Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to get to look through these notes. Okay. Now, as as a totem, um, one second. As a totem, the totem was basically uh, what grounds you, where you know he was in the world of, of the real. The totem is nothing but your spine as well. It goes. To, it, it 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 tells you about it, it tells you about two worlds. It's your path of Kundalini. It's, it, it, it's what grounds you, your spine. It's what right. holds you up. So they say you need to make a totem. His totem was the spinning wheel. Her totem became a pawn. Right, right. Because right. her role as an architect was nothing but to create a, 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 a kind of, what it was a maze with a kind of an illusion um, to, to work towards the ultimate goal. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So she was actually a pawn in it. These people, that's why at the end, you didn't see nothing else with them. They played their roles. They got off the plane because technically in their mind, they have their own path. But based upon his mind, you're going through Cobb's mind and his projection. These people, would, they became nothing but workers. So she, so she was rightfully a pawn. It's what he needed to build, like, like this world. She's the architect of this world. This world itself, the... the the presence in it, you, this is actually a pawn. This is actually a sacrifice for you to make your goal. You know yes, what I'm saying? Right. It's supposed to die here. Hmm. Remember I said in the last show, you think the earth was supposed to last forever? Right. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Right. Everything turns into something or dies. The dresser drawer will not be a dresser drawer forever. It will wither and crack one day. Everything here so-called dies. So being that, why on earth would the earth stay forever in this integrity? It will transfer into something new with you. It is created in this dream to maintain you. Mm-hmm. In, the re- in the real game or the real world, know what it is? It's a pawn. Mm-hmm. It's a sacrifice. The earth must die for something else, for, for a bigger agenda to be born. But we all play in this one game here. So it's not in opposition. You, 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 you kind of get what I'm saying here? Yes, yes, I do. All right. So they show you that they basically have to do subconscious programming. Um, while, they're, while 
they, the first time they go into this dream world, which they plan on bringing Fisher into, so he could fill the dream world with his subconscious, what they said was, on three levels, we're going to have to give affirmation. The first level, they said, is, is on level one, we tell him, I will not follow in my father's footsteps. Level two, I will create something for myself. Level three, my father doesn't want me to be him. What they're talking about is pure alchemy. What they're talking about is you now becoming something new. Where we're fucking up is we're still trying to be African. Mm. We're still trying to be Haru. We're still trying to be Osiris. We're still trying to be Mayat. We're still following in our father's footsteps. We're trying to be something that we already were. We're mm. not trying to become the new gods. We're trying so busy to get back to the earth like it was, to build more pyramids. We're not ready to let this go and become something new. That's why we came down here. We were already running the shit. We came down here to figure out a new equation to become something new. I've said this in the movie, Coming to America a Thousand Times on your show. <laughs> yes. He already was the, the, the king. He already had his shit together. He already was set. He already had chicks, three chicks in the bathtub wiping his balls and nuts. He was good. <laughs> He already was set to be married, but it was to something old. She said, I am here for you. I am born to you. I like what you like, whatever you like. <laughs> he said, this is not good enough. I need to go into the dream, to Malkuth, to Earth, if you will, to find something new, a new love affair, go in and get out. Right. So I have to become, I have to go to church. Eddie Murphy had to go to church, had to work at McDonald's, I had to go to the barbershop, all that right. dumb, live in the ghetto, all that dumb shit that we're doing right now. Right. To eventually find Lisa to bring her back home. You get what I'm saying? To become the new king, not just some old, this, the same old thing. He became his father and his mother again. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yes. Somebody yes. who built him, he had to have a new, so he's telling him, I will not follow my father's footsteps. I will not follow the footsteps of Jaffa Jofa. He's mm. sitting there going, I'm a man who never tied my shoes. No, no, you're a prince who never tied your shoes. I tried one. It's tiresome. <laughs> but he was telling his father, was like, I don't, I don't give, that's your experience. You get what I'm saying? Right. I don't want to follow your footsteps. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I will create something for myself. He said, well, I need to go to something. Now, you down there to stole your royal oath. He's like, I'm not down there to do that. I'm really trying to find my own wife. He didn't tell his father that. He told his father he's down there just to get some ass before he got married. Yes. So his father assumed it. But he said, no, I will create something for myself. He said, my father doesn't want me to be him. And that's when ultimately when Jaffa Jofa came to the realization that my son is something else. When he came to America and tried to get him, you're supposed to go home, you're supposed to get married. He talked to Lisa, talked to his wife, and after a while he understood, i.e. brings Lisa in and they get married. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. What they're talking about is an alchemy story. Story, you not becoming Horace and naming yourself after Horace, you becoming a new fucking Horace. And your name could be fucking Skylar or Bob or fucking Kathy Mae. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Trying to go to this old shit. We already did that. We already figured it out. These things are now supposed to be clues for you to pick up on, not go back to. Mm. I will not follow my father's footsteps. So they talk about going to, uh, level one, two, three in the dream. Level three in the dream equals ten years. Ten years, nothing but the ten Sifroths again. Ten years in the dream is nothing but you and Malkuth on level three of the dream. Um, so again, I don't know if I said it, but the melanin, he said it was not, he said this sedative, the sedative man, the chemist, the melanin man said this sedative was not designed to impair the hearing, meaning music wakes us, wakes us up. I want to say that again. Our music has been instrumental in our consciousness yes. here. Yes, yes. And that's what he's talking about. Now, Cobb as the old architect trying to rise up into, to get, to actually go home. Remember, his whole goal for doing this is to go home. Now, what they're talking about is Cobb went into the dream, and then the new architect follows him in his dream. 
Well, what do you know? He's in the elevator. And the mm-hmm. elevator has what? Twelve floors. Twelve floors. <laughs> We're talking about the Zodiac. He was just going to these different dimensions in time. And the and the basement, of course, being the foundation what all of these things were built upon. The girl was like, she's the architect. She's trying to see. She's learning. She's like, okay, I can see where this shit is fucked up. And he's saying, how long can you trap her here? That's what he said. You can't keep her in the prison. What he was talking about, what she was talking about was Earth itself. Earth has to rise. Yes. Our own thoughts or our own memories are, is what keeps it in a prison. Mm-hmm. Our memories of these glory days of fucking Egypt. These glory days of fucking, you know, talking to the fucking, to, to the deers or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, again, it's an idea which becomes a memory based upon you either living that lifestyle or something, you lived in a lifetime doing this. Us, we speak to the water and we talk to the thunder. When we, fuck all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we did all of that shit already. <laughs> so he, she was saying, how are you locking her in these memories? She's going to revolt. That's yeah. nothing but the earth fighting back with the greenhouse effect, with eruptions, with, with, mm. with, with goddamn floods, with tsunamis. That's now fighting back in the dream world. Are you niggas hearing this shit? Mm-hmm. That's nothing but the earth fighting back. She told you cannot keep her locked under the twelve. For a long time. Right, right. All right. All right. Now, um, okay. Okay. 